The kinetics of an enzyme-catalyzed reaction can be studied when the concentration of the enzyme is small compared to the concentration of the substrate. As long as the substrate is in large excess over enzyme, altering its concentration does not change the rate. This is quite different from the first-order reaction in the previous example, where the rate depended on the substrate concentration. Here, the rate does not depend on the substrate concentration, and the reaction is said to be zero-order with respect to substrate. Near the turn of the 20th century, Adrian Brown first discovered this conflicting behavior of enzyme-catalyzed reactions. It became apparent to him that the substrate must form a complex with the enzyme. This observation marked the beginning of the study of enzyme kinetics. Brown correctly deduced that a zero-order reaction with respect to substrate occurred when the enzyme was saturated with substrate. Essentially, the limited number of active sites put a ceiling on how fast the reaction could proceed. Because the enzyme concentration is rate-limiting, the rate is independent of substrate concentration. The zero-order rate constant is referred to as the maximal velocity, or Vmax. Count for this kinetic behavior caused by the substrate's interaction with enzyme. The model for an enzyme-catalyzed reaction must include an enzyme-substrate complex, or ES complex. The reaction scheme is shown here. The rate constants K1 and K-1 are the forward and reverse rate constants for the formation of the ES complex, and K2 is the rate at which the ES complex converts the bound substrate into product. Notice that in order to simplify this model, we assume that the product formation step is irreversible, that is, there is no K-2. Catalysts are generally not considered reactants because they facilitate reactions without being altered. However, in an enzyme-catalyzed reaction, the enzyme does participate as a pseudo-reactant because it must bind and form a complex with substrate, and the availability of its active sites affects the overall rate of the reaction.